Happy morning to everyone. Welcome to my channel Biotech Info. Nowadays, everyone wants to know about what is mutation, what are different strains, and how this DNA and RNA are responsible for a change in the strain. So today, I took the topic that is about mutation. Mutation, the word was coined by Hugo de Virus in 1900 and the unit of mutation is going to be called as mutant and it is heritable means the character or the traits which are going to be transferred from the parents to the offsprings or from the parents to the next generation is going to be called as heritable. And Hugo de Virus has worked on mutation theory that is an evolution theory on mutation. He has done the work on a plant called as an evening primrose, which is otherwise going to be called as Oleanthrina lamarckina. Now, let us get to know how we can precisely define the mutation. What is a mutation actually? Means, mutation is a phenomena which results in the alternation in the DNA sequences which results a change in the genotype and phenotype of an organism. I will repeat again, the mutation is a process or a phenomena which is going to result in the alternation in the DNA sequences which consequently results a change in the genotype and phenotype of an organism. Actually, Recombination is going to occur which results a variation in the traits of an organism. In addition to the recombination, mutation is another process by which we can see variation in the DNA structure or variations in the DNA sequences which leads to the new traits or you can say new strains. And that's how this DNA and RNA, which are going to be called it as an deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acids are responsible for the getting a new strains in any sort of an viruses. Now here, this mutagen, what is a mutagen? The agents which are going to cause mutations are going to be called as mutagens. The agents which are responsible for causing the mutations is going to be called as mutagens. Now let us explain you about what is this DNA actually. See, in 1953, Watson and Crick who are the best of friends or we can even call a good bond of friendship or a combo of the friends who has proposed the DNA structure along with the replication scheme. And according to them, the DNA is a helical structure and it is going to be run from one end to the another end of a chromatid. And it is in the form of a coiled structure or a super coiled structure. But when we are going to have an insertion means the addition or deletion means the removal of a segment of a DNA is going to have a change chromosomes that is a chromatid or the chromosomes genetic material because on that chromosome only you are going to see the genes which are responsible for our characters. We are otherwise going to be called it as in factors which are going to be simply transferred from the parents to the offspring according to the Gregor John Mendel. Now, when there is a deletion or insertion of the segments of this DNA, then we are going to observe some changes that changes are only going to be called it as mutations which are going to be caused by the factors called mutagens. Now, when we are going to add or remove, then what is going to happen? Certain changes which you are going to call it as in chromosomal aberrations are abnormalities. And these abnormalities is all of two types. That is genetic abnormalities as well as in chromosomal abnormalities. Genetic abnormalities are the first one is a color blindness. 
that is they can't even differentiate the green and red color and hemophilia it is a disorder which leads to the problem of clotting the blood and also sickle cell anemia where you can see that instead of glutamine valine is there in the chain in the sixth position of the hemoglobin and also phenylcalcitonin which leads to the mental retardation these are the disorders which you are going to get because of the genetic and what are this chromosomal disorders means turner syndrome Klinefelter syndrome are the examples for the uh, chromosomal aberrations or chromosomal disorders. Now, what is a genotype? For example, if we are taking a character that is about the tallness, so here what is going to happen according to the Gregor John Mendel, capital T specifies that an organism is in the tall position, and if it is a homozygous. T and T we are going to write, which is a capital form. If we are mentioning the tallness, that is small t refers that it is a dwarfism represents, and small t and small t represents the dwarfism. It is a homozygous character of what character about the height. Capital T represents that it is a dominant one, and it is then tall. and the small t represents that it is about the dwarfism it is taking place in the homozygous form but in heterozygous we have to write uh, like for example capital t and small t represents that it is a character in this the height is going to be the tallness is going to be dominant over the dwarfism now this type of representation in the descriptive form if you are going to say then it is going to be called it as phenotype now according to the darwin new trait appear all of sudden according to darwin what he was saying is that new trait new organism is going to appear all of sudden in 1791 stead writh recorded that in the ankin ship just let me tell you one story about the steed wright in 1791 he has given a very good explanation that where he has observed a new sheep that is consisting of only three legs it seems like he was moving from uh, the workplace to the hometown and suddenly the bus was stopped because that a group of the sheep are moving from one side of the road to the other and when he had so came down to see that how they are moving then suddenly he has observed that one sheep is there which is consisting of only three legs and the one the fourth one which is there it is not properly developed means it is there but it is not going to help that sheep to move on that particular leg so he called that sheep as an ankin sheep and from there he has started studying about the mutations so here what happens suddenly the new trait is going to appear all of sudden that is correct according to the darwin it is proved and also according to the seed writ it is also proved that and the ankin sheep in which year 1791 and scientific study of mutation on drosophila drosophila which is commonly known as fruit fly right and uh, by t r margan he also worked out on the drosophila for studying to know about what is this mutation how it is going to imply on the drosophila and new traits how it will be rise suddenly the everyone has the question that how it is going to appear suddenly how can it, it happens then here see chromatid which just now we have discussed that a uh, uh, chromatid which is going to move from one end to the other end of a dna structure it is going to lose it is going to lose means one segment of that structure is going to be deleted or we can even call it as a deletion and also gain of the dna means one segment is going to be added or you can even call it as an insertion of the segment on the dna structure results in the alternation of the chromosome 
obviously when a one segment is going to be removed or one segment is going to be added obviously what is going to happen there is a change or alternation in the chromosome because the chromosome only consisting of a small dot like structures those are going to be called as genes and these are responsible for the characters of an organism now this genes results in the alternation of the chromosome which is going to lead a change in the genes presence on the chromosome alter in two ways in two ways it's going to be happen how it is going to be happen means it's going to be happened in a two ways what are those two ways means the first one is a numerical changes numerical changes example like a trisomy aneuploidy polyploidy nulliploidy etc is a numerical changes because of the numerical changes there is a changes in the structure of the dna segment which leads to the alternation in the new trait and also one more is structural changes structural changes for example deletion insertion translocation and inversion here what is that one numerical one means addition of one of the segment or a, a totally removal of the segment is going to be called now as a structural uh, changes which is going to be called deletion removal of the segment insertion adding of the segment translocation taking out and placing it in an another point inversion totally uh, transcriptation which is going to take place total inversion that's how the total alternation in the dna is going to take place next one point mutation For what is meant by the point mutation change in the base pair of a dna what they are saying the dna structure which is consisting in that only base pair if you are changing it's going to happen in the sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia what is going to happen instead of glutamine here in the sixth position of a chain of the beta globin chain of the hemoglobin here instead of glutamine valine is going to be added in which chain in which position sixth position in which chain beta chain where it is present in the hemoglobin what is going to happen instead of the glutamic acid if the valine is going to be present then you are going to call that one as a point mutation what mutation point mutation the change in the chemical structure of the gene takes place at the molecular level means in the zygote it is going to happen then it is going to be called it as gene mutation it is going to occur in the molecular level even in the zygote it is going to happen so it is going to be called it as gene mutation now here one more two topic that is stable gene that is mutation frequency will be very low here what is going to happen in this particular position of stable gene in this mutation frequency will be low unstable gene what is happen frequency will be very high and mutation will be spontaneous and induced the mutagens which i told you that which are responsible for causing the mutation it may be a spontaneous or it may be the induced one because of the chemical agents or because of the uh, what you can say radiations and next one deletion and insertions of dna causes frame shift mutations what is going to be called as frame shift mutation when there is a deletions or the insertions of the dna segments then you are going to call that one as a frame shift mutations and polyploidy mutations after the cell division what is going to happen there is no any chances of occurring the cytokinesis cytokinesis is not occurring after the telophase stage then what happens there is an increase in the number of the chromosome that's going to be called it as polyploidy and this is going to be occur only in the plants polyploidy mutations are very very dangerous and mutations generally it is going to be occur in a homozygous recessive form what is that one homozygous recessive form it's going to occur in a homozygous recessive form which is going to occur mutations are going to 
Akka. Thank you.